Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Exponential 2018 is right around the corner. Lehigh Valley Drone providing UAS for broadcast of minor league baseball team. And Airbus launches advanced indoor inspection drone. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. This is it, the major unmanned exposition of the year. AUVSI Exponential 2018 starts Monday, April 30th, 2018 at 1 p.m. and runs through Thursday, May 3rd, 2018 to 4 p.m at the Colorado Convention Center in Denver, Colorado. This premier event unites the largest global community of drones, intelligent robotics, and unmanned system leaders to shape the future of the industry. Featuring the largest and most comprehensive trade show, this event is the spot to learn from daily keynotes with tech visionaries and 200 plus world-class sessions, as well as connect with 8,500 plus industry pros and business experts from 20 plus industries. Exponential 2018 offers a broad-based balanced educational program brimming with cutting edge content and inspirational insights. From policy implications and technical challenges to use cases across vertical markets and everything in between. If you're looking to harness the power of unmanned technology, AUVSI Exponential 2018 is the spot. An intersection of cutting-edge innovation and real-world applications. Exponential is the one event that brings all things unmanned into sharp focus. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Authorities say that a drone flew within 200 feet of an Air Force helicopter landing at Winnipeg Air Base in New Zealand, prompting a half-hour suspension in air operations at the base. Authorities say that the drone was flying at about 3,000 feet off the coast of Browns Bay on Auckland's North Shore last week at 1100 local time. The CAA was notified of the incident. The Leavenworth Police Department in Leavenworth, Kansas has purchased two UAS, equipped with video cameras but absent of infrared technology. That technology can be purchased, though. The UAS can be used for a variety of tasks. The UAS, which were purchased for a total of $4,467, can also be used for tactical purposes, as they can provide an additional set of eyes and vantage that officers otherwise would not have during tactical situations. Coolest event ever! That's how Margot Edwards described the first ever drone boot camp at Les Murakami Stadium at the University of Hawaii. About 100 people attended the March 30th event hosted by the University of Hawaii Applied Research Laboratory in collaboration with the Office of the Vice President of Research and Innovation. The Predator Series family of remotely piloted aircraft encompassing Predator, Predator B, Grey Eagle, and Avenger lines has achieved a historic industry milestone, 5 million flight hours. The milestone was achieved on April 4th with 360,311 total missions completed and more than 90% of all missions flown in combat. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Service Electric TV2 has partnered with Lehigh Valley Drone to add a UAS to its broadcast of the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs games. The Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs are a minor league baseball team and the AAA affiliate of Major League Baseball's Philadelphia Phillies. This will be the first time that a UAS is used to provide a live video feed to a professional sports team in Lehigh Valley. Usually a helicopter is used to feed aerial pictures to the remote production truck, but this method can often prove to be extremely costly, especially for local productions. UAS offer a more affordable option than a helicopter and are better suited to maneuver around a ballpark, as Fry's alludes to. Because of these reasons, John Fry's, co-founder of Lehigh Valley Drone, is extremely excited about the potential of this technology for these operations. 
Fry's adds that during these operations of pilot flying, a camera operator who will also be Part 107 qualified and a visual observer will be used for all games. Lehigh Valley Drone and Service Electric TV2 have committed to use the UAS for at least 20 home games this season. Airbus is demonstrating for the first time a drone-based innovative maintenance tool, Airbus's Advanced Inspection Drone, for use inside a hangar which accelerates and facilitates visual checks, considerably reducing aircraft downtime and increasing the quality of inspection reports. Combining Airbus's aircraft knowledge with drone technology, this new product consists of a smart automatic drone with an integral visual camera, a laser-based obstacle detection sensor, flight planner software, and Airbus's aircraft inspection software analysis tool, developed in cooperation with Airbus's subsidiary, Testia, which specializes in non-destructive testing. This drone-based aircraft inspection system is optimized for inspecting the upper parts of the aircraft fuselage. Following a predefined inspection path, the automated drone captures all the required images with its onboard camera. High-quality pictures are then transferred to a PC database for detailed analysis using a software system. This allows the operator to localize and measure visual damage on the aircraft surface by comparing it with the aircraft's digital mock-up. The software automatically generates an inspection report. The new system will be available for the industry in the fourth quarter of 2018, following EASA approval of the new inspection process. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.